Melbourne researchers have transformed one of the world's most commonly used drugs into a nasal spray that could treat COVID-19. The spray is cheap and easy to distribute and is expected to be effective against mutant strains of the virus, including the Omicron variant. Bridget Rollison has the story. It's a tiny treatment that could have big benefits. I'm very confident that if we can demonstrate that it will work, people will be using this before they go to the shops, before they go to school. Don Campbell says he had a crazy idea that the blood thinning drug heparin could be used to treat COVID. After 20 months of work, he and his team have turned the drug into a nasal spray, which can stop the virus growing in cells. It's so simple to use. You spray it into your nose, it coats the surface and prevents primary infection, but also neutralises the virus if it's present, and that will stop it from spreading to others. We have found that we can produce a spray which has the right characteristics that it will get into the nose, but won't go down into the lungs. The heparin molecule wraps around the protein that helps COVID penetrate cells like an orange python and makes it impossible for the virus to mutate. Heparin is so close in structure to heparan that it just binds on and paralyzes the virus. Heparin's also cheap, doesn't need refrigeration and is easy to administer. Two puffs each nostril, three times per day. The nasal spray will now undergo clinical trials after receiving funding from the state government. 340 Victorians will be given the drug or a placebo within 24 hours of their household contact testing positive to reduce transmission. It won't matter if a new variant comes along. This drug will block that protein from infecting the cells. The nasal spray trial is one of seven local research projects that will share in $13 million of government funding to better understand how we live with COVID. What happens here in Melbourne uh, is, is world leading. The clinical trials for the new treatment are expected to take six months. We're not proposing this as an alternative to a vaccination. It's a supplement or for people who can't be vaccinated. Uh, but yes, we do imagine that it will be very widely used. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.